But opportunity is very punctual. Jesus, opportunity, your miracle is very punctual. Passing by indicates he is not planning to stay around. Opportunity, many of us don't see an opportunity until we miss one. Many of us do not recognize a miracle until it passes us by. An opportunity is not like a temptation that will bang on your door every single day. It will knock and nobody opens, it goes on. Bartimaeus was not a man with a lot of money, but he was a man with a lot of wisdom. He sat there and though being poor and being blind and being unfortunate to grow up in those circumstances, he was fully acquainted that he has a window of opportunity from 10 to maybe 15 minutes when his miracle is right in front of him. And if he jumps into the opportunity, his life can radically change. But he knew this opportunity will not exist tomorrow and it might not exist next time again. An opportunity has an expiration date. An opportunity has a timer. An opportunity has a clock. It doesn't stay forever. There is a time in a service when Holy Spirit moves. When you have an opportunity to receive your miracle. When the presence of God, when you can sense the presence of God and this is the moment you seize that miracle. You take it, you say, I receive it in Jesus' name. There is a time in the service where Holy Spirit moves and your heart is, is touched and you recognize you need to give your life to Jesus. When you do that, God can radically change your life. But when you ignore the opportunity, thinking it's going to come again for sure, you might be surprised that it might not come again opportunity is not like Walmart it's not open 24 7. there's a time when it's open and there's a time when it gets closed Bartimaeus's life was changed why because a window of opportunity presented itself and he realized Jesus is not staying he is passing and I have 15 minute window window to jump in and seize my change from my life and his life was radically changed can somebody say amen you cannot procrastinate because procrastination is an assassin of opportunity when God gave manna to Israel, the Bible says it came as a dew in the morning and it came in the form of a frost. So if during winter you have frost on your windows, that's sort of how manna looked like. Next time when you have frost, don't be tempted to eat it and gather it as your manna. But that's exactly how manna looked. The Bible says there's a little frost over the, the ground. The fascinating part is that God gave this wonderful miracle and this miracle would melt away when the sun would rise. So imagine those people who are habitually and in their personality, they're not morning people. And they wake up by 11 o'clock and by 3 o'clock they finally fully get awake. Can you imagine they would starve every single day? Because God's miracle doesn't wait for anybody. God's miracle comes up and then it melts away when we are not punctual. We must understand an opportunity in your life is something that has a timer. You cannot have this idea in your mind. The opportunity to serve Jesus, to give my life to Jesus, will always be there. A famous German evangelist who is a minister in Africa named Reinhard Bonnke shared a very fascinating and a little bit scary story of in one meeting when he was preaching and two young bikers came and at the end of the store, middle of the service and they started to make gestures and mock him as he was preaching. And he stopped his sermon and he just started to speak directly to them and said, hey boys, you guys need to give your life to Jesus Christ. And they mockingly, scornfully looked at the evangelist and they said, do you see how old we are? We're only 20 something years of age. When we get 90 preacher, we will be there serving Jesus. And Rehard Bonke looks at them and he says, the problem is that when God gives you the opportunity, that's when you have to jump. You don't know when you're 90 if it will come and if you will have the opportunity to give your life to Jesus at 90. Not that God is not going to be ready to receive you, but he, you may not have the opportunity. Well, preacher, we will see you at 90. They left the service, got on their bikes, and they just went flying down the street. Ten minutes later, on the same street, there was a police flying also on the crime scene, on the accident scene where two of the bikers were driving too fast, riding their bikes, couldn't make the turn, slammed into the tree and both died. Now, I'm not saying that's exactly what's gonna happen to us, but I know one thing is that we have a window of opportunity and we have to take it. When God is calling your name, 
You can't say, I'll do it at three afternoon tonight. Because by 11 o'clock, the manna might melt. And you might come at three and say, I want some manna. And you'll realize manna is not there. Opportunity is punctual. Can somebody say amen? amen. And we must be punctual to seize it.